volumes of rectangular prisms and cylinders. Now, volume is just the amount of three-dimensional space that a figure has in it. So, and we use that with cubic units to fit inside. Cubic unit is just one unit high. So that's what this is, one unit high, one unit deep, and one unit, uh, one unit long or wide. So the way we write this out is the it's so much easier than surface area because you don't need to unload things or, or un, unattach things and, and break it down into pieces, particularly with rectangular, uh, with rectangular prisms. So it's really easy. All it is is length times width times height because it's actually base times height, and the base of this would be 15 times 20. So 15 times 20. And then we multiply that by 9, and we end up with, well, what's 15 times 20? That's going to be 15 times 20. It should be 300 times 9. It's going to be 2,700. Now, one thing that's really important to understand, though, for surface area, we're going to be using square units because we're figuring out the area. For volume, we use cube units. So this is one centimeter cubed. So this is centimeters cubed here. Now, for the volume of a cylinder, it still is base times height. And again, it's really pretty easy. This is part of it that uh, sometimes, again, it's just a little bit harder to figure out if you don't have your area formula down, because this is going to be the area, pi times r squared. So if I have an example here of this big old soup can, I would just figure out and plug in the formula. The pi times r squared is going to be, well, just plug this all in, times 3 squared times the height, which is going to be 6. And when I do that all, I end up with, well, I can write this out as in terms of pi. So this is going to be pi times 9 times 6. That's going to be equal to 54 times pi. And when we do that, 54 times pi is just going to be equal to, if we use 3.14 for pi, it's going to be equal to 169.56. And again, we need to make sure we write this down with the correct units, so it's inches cubed in this case, because we're using inches. So just do a couple more of these problems here to make sure it's clear. Dicocan, uh, the approximate volume, again, the base is going to be this circle. It's not perfect because it's not an actual cylinder, but it's close to it. That's why it's approximate. So 2.5 squared times pi. That's what the volume is going to be equal to times the height. And the height in this case here is going to be 6 inches. So remember, it's just volume is equal to pi times r squared times the height. And so that's just going to be 2.5 squared times 6 times 3.14. That's going to give us, uh, if we multiply that all out using our calculator, it's going to give us a nice clean number here. Write it up here, 117.7. Five. Remember, it's inches cubed again. Now over here, even easier, volume of a rectangular prism. People like doing these because they're so easy. All it is is 6 times 3 times 1, so that's going to be 18 centimeters cubed. And we are all